Hi guys, in this section of the training, I'm going to walk you through how to edit the home page. We're going to review the different sections in the home page and you'll understand and learn about um, how to move things around, how to add new elements, how to upload images and all that good stuff so that you're actually able to create the website that you want to create. So here I am back in the website that we were just working with and I went ahead and left it at the last theme we were playing with, which is the spa theme. And I've got my logo here. I've got my pages here. And this is the home page of the website. So if I preview it, I'm able to see that I've got my header, which is actually my menu bar up here. This is my header. This is the call to action, which is book online. This then is social media connections and, and um, engagement and credibility. Then we've got the about us page, photo gallery and uh, reviews, and then more social stuff down here, um, as well as a footer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to edit the site. And again, I'm in the website menu controller. And the first thing I want to do is I want to kind of click through. So as you're clicking into a section, let me explain what each of these elements are. These elements are stacked on top of each other. So I've got my cover media. So if I go back to website here, I can see this is my header. When I click into header, it opens up and I'm able to see what is included in my header. It is the image. The alignment is over here to the left. If I change it to the center, the book online shifts to the center. If I change it to the left, it is um, the, it, it bop, pops over there. So I'm going to leave it back over here on the right. <coughs> Then I've got site navigation, which is also in this uh, header section of the website builder. And this is going to be where my pages that I have uh, that I have created that I'm connected to are are so I can move them around. Let's say I want services above the contact me. I'm going to drag that up there. Um, and the privacy policy is not shown right now. It's probably in the footer somewhere. But I just move, I've got home services can contact us. These are all of the pages that have already been created automatically just by choosing this thing. And I move the control of the menu just by dragging and dropping. So you can see when I drag the contact us up above services, that changes the order here. And I'm going to move it back down below. So now I'm going to go back to home here and this is the Instagram feed. So this is going to ask me to connect to my Instagram. Now I'm going to delete this in a little bit because I'm not going to connect my Instagram. I'm going to do something else. Um, the about us page is the same thing. So if I click through to this section, let me go back to home here. So here's the about us section. That's this right here. So what you can see is that as I move my mouse over each of the areas that I'm talking about, a blue box or a box it becomes highlighted. That means this is a section that you can stack things on top of. You can move it around. You can delete it and you can create the home page that you want to create. So in this case, I've got what, what I can add a section. You can add sections above or below sections. So I've got the Instagram and you can see that there's one of these, these plus buttons mean I can add something below here if I want to. And so when you click on this button, I'm going to click add section. That opens up a whole nother level of menu that is going to let me choose what I want to put in there. So I can choose an, I can look at introductions. If I want to do it this way, I can do a menus or prices if I want. Um, I wouldn't put that in that section. I can do a calendar, um, content, 
And so what you're going to do is you're going to look through and find something that you like. So let's say I'm going to actually put this in here. I, this kind of looks like it might be kind of nice. So this then would be detailing services and things. And I'm going to delete this. Let me stop before I do that. So now what's happened when I click on preview website, I now have the massage therapy. I've got the header image with the call to action. And then I've got site contact that I probably need to mention something about. So I'll go and change this, what this, this says. Um, this is more about services that I've still got the Instagram. I still have the about us join our mailing list and then photo galleries down here. I'm going to go back to edit site over here on the right hand side above the mobile preview. And I'm going to scroll down and again, I'm in this section. So I've got the top section here. You see it's highlighted in it is highlighted in this teal. This is the uh, header section. This next section is the site content and I'm going to put this is, I'm going to make this is our services. Or, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to call this services just for the sake of creating the site. And then I've got Instagram and I'm going to delete that because I don't have an Instagram that I want to connect to this. And so you'll see that each element, each, each element or has a, a menu and control button of itself. So when I'm going to delete it, it sh a bright it it shines in bright. You know, it gets highlighted in bright in in red. I'm sorry, and that allows me then to say, yeah, I'm going to delete this. So that's a big warning. When red shows up, it's a warning. So you're going to click delete section. Then I'm going to say, yes, I do indeed want to delete this. So now I have my services. I've got the header, relax, refresh, book online. Here's some services or about me, blog posts, whatever you want to put in here. I've got the about us page. I've got join our mailing list, but I don't really have a welcome or anything along those lines. So I'm going to now add another section in here. I'm going to click add section and I'm going to choose introduction. And I think because I have such a beautiful image up here and I've got lots of images down here, I'm going to just go with a really simple welcome. And it's a little too white. Uh, I think there's too much white going on. Uh, so I might play with changing this background color to the blue. Um, see if I like that. I kind of do like that. And um, I can also change it you know, back to the black if I wanted to. No, not, you know, I'm not as crazy about that, but I'm, I'm going to leave this as the blue. So again, you've got consistency going on throughout your website in terms of the colors that work together. Um, now let's go ahead and preview this. So here's what it looks like now. I've got the header. I've got a welcome section that I could add things into. I've got services um, and about me. Uh, there's almost too much white going on down here. Um, so we'll see. Maybe I might move this actually up. And uh, let's do that. And I think what I might do is move the mailing list section up. So I am going to, because you can move these se these sections around by themselves. The, the, again, through this menu bar, let's move that up here. And that moved it up above. So it moves it up one section at a time. I'm going to move it up again. And so now I have... Welcome. Let me see. Well, it's almost too much call to action going on, but um, I kind of get you that have you get the idea that you can move things around. I don't know that I like this. Let me preview it. And I've got the welcome. I don't think I like this about me. This this join our mailing list here. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to move it back to where it was. I'm just going to move it down. Move it. 
And I think I'm also going to make this then be the blue background so that I it's not quite so much white. There's a little bit of something to break it up a bit. And let me see what we can do in terms of these the layout. This is the layout that we can do. I can do a blue layout. I can do this layout. That looks kind of nice. Um, you can play with layouts here. I can just make it much thinner if I want. I think I'm going to leave this layout because that looks very nice for a massage therapy site. Um, and I don't know why this is here. I don't like this here. I'm going to get this out of here. In fact, I think let's see what this layout. Let's see how we can change this layout. Um, let's make this a little bit narrower. So here's welcome, you know, so, t so I like this, this, it's thinner, it's um, more, a little more welcoming, I can do the same thing with an image again if I wanted to, I'm not going to do that because I did it down below, I'm going to leave this like that. Now I go into services, but I want to move the about us page back up to where it belongs. So that now I'm going to move it up one more time. So we've got a welcome. This is a nice little note that you're able to put in. I have the about us page. Why do business with us? Then I've got services. Then I've got mailing list and photo gallery. And if you wanted to add another section in, you could do that also. Let's go ahead and preview the site. So this is what it's looking like now. I have just the header. I've got the welcome about us. And it's really that simple to move things around in terms of just adding content in and adding the sections, getting the layout that you like. So now we're going to go and actually edit the site itself and edit the words that are in here. So there's two ways of editing. The first is you pop into the section that you're working with and I can click right into the what you see is what you get editor, WYSIWYG editor, and I can add, um, here is, whoops, you know, so glad to see you here. I probably should have had some text ready to go. W you know, welcome to our website. Welcome to, massage therapy, Com you know, here in in my city and you know you so you're going to write your story how it might be or you can edit i'm going to actually go control z control z so so again you just click through and you edit inside the actual editor itself then you're going to come over and click done you can also go into the welcome section and you can make changes here so this is what it looks like. This is how to edit from, from the control panel. So it's really flexible, whatever your style is, whatever works best for you. And if you want to change, you know, welcome to my, to my website. So glad you're here. You're going to put your story there. Then, then if you're going to click through find out more, there, it's going to ask you where are you going to click that down to. And th that you might just then click that down to. So find out more than would take them to either a page. It could take them to a website URL. Or it can take to products if you happen to have products that you're selling. And in this case, I'm going to have it go not to the top of the page, but I'm going to have it drop down to the About Us section. So that when someone clicks Find Out More, it will automatically go to the About Us section. So I'm going to preview. Here's what it's looking like. Find Out More and see how it just pops to About Us. Really, really simple to use, guys. It's just a matter of popping in, finding the layout that you like, 
and then making the changes to it. So here's the photo gallery again. You can work within the photo gallery layout of the inside the element and find a photo gallery that you like. Maybe it looks better like this. I don't think so in this particular case because I've got the mailing list there. Um, so this one probably was a better one or what was originally there, wherever that was. I think that was this one. And that then lets you, let's say this was actually massage packages that you had. So you would then click in and, and um, describe the image, which would, and, and captions. Here's a caption. This is image one. One massage service. So you're actually able to, you know, give a description of here are the products. This is the facial massage. This is a special um, sports massage. This is, you know, whatever sense you're using. I, I'm not one that gets a lot of massages, but um, you are able then to describe your services right next to what are people looking at. So this looks like it might be a salt massage. Okay, and then you also want to describe the image from a search engine optimization perspective. So you pop in here and you describe what kind of keywords would people look for if they were looking for this product. So I'm going to put salt massage, um, Redding, California. And then I'm going to click done. And you can see now we've got this a description and you can add a bigger description. You can add and then you're going to go down and do the same thing across the board for each of these images in your gallery. So you're going to highlight products. You're going to highlight services. Um, that is the idea here. So I'm going to go back to done. And it really is that simple. So you're going to move things around. You can change the colors. And the next thing I'm going to do is change images, but I am going to stop this video